Hello, today we're going to demonstrate how to interface the PA15 ACUXL from USA Spec iPod adapter to an Acura MDX model years 2007 through 2012. I will be demonstrating this on a 2008 model Acura, but it should be okay for other years as well. I decided to make this video because the owner's manual, as you see, is very sparse and doesn't provide any instructions for how to actually install the device onto the car. Uh, I will do so momentarily. First thing we want to do is go to the trunk of the device and open the back by pushing on this lever and lifting the compartment case. As we see here, you have the jack tools compartment is here and we have these hinges left and right. What we want to do is take a number two screwdriver and unscrew the single screw on each of the two hinges. Now remove the left side. With the two lower hinge screws removed, you can remove this top cover, like so, leaving the hinges in place for now. Leave that off to the side and then remove the two hinges, one on either side, and lay them aside. Now we're going to remove the jack tool compartment case lid by turning these knobs counterclockwise until they're in an unlocked position and then removing them like so. Now lay this uh, tool cover off to the side. Now we're going to carefully remove and lift out this rug. Be careful not to damage the rug. It's just a, a felt material that comes off. It's a, it's a big tray, if you will. And lay it aside as well. Underneath the right compartment here, as you look under, you'll see the XM radio is underneath. And uh, the connector on the left needs to be pulled out. Be careful not to hold it by the long wires, as this might damage the connector. You want to pull by the connector itself and unplug the left connector on the XM radio. With that connector you just removed, hook it up to the USA spec connector like I did here. The other end of this connector, the female end, now goes back into that opening that we uh, pulled the connector from. The USA spec radio, or iPod interface if you will, comes with long enough wires that you can coil them through through the center console of the unit. However, I have chosen to simply route it behind this compartment and across the back here towards where the jack uh, sits. Here, you plug in the other end of the cable to the USA spec adapter as I have done here. On what I call the front of the unit, you will see the interface for the iPod cable itself. Hook it up to that round opening, that round connector, uh, to the right of the red plug. I'm, I'm sorry, to the left of the red plug. The other end of that plug is where I've plugged in an iPod Nano. You can choose any type of iP uh, iPod player I just happen to have an, I, uh, an iPod Nano handy that I will then stow back behind the jack tool compartment. Now since there's a potential for this to bounce around and get scratched up a little bit, I have a little baggie. Uh, it's a nylon bag that I have uh, chosen to uh, wrap around the iPod Nano uh, as, it retain, uh, as it is retained in the uh, jack compartment. This way at least it'll keep it from getting all uh, all banged up and scratched up uh, over time since I do intend to keep it here uh, uh, mostly on a permanent basis. One important detail that's mentioned in the installation manual but not really emphasized is the dip switch settings. These are the dip switches are in blue on this image and it's important that you have them in this orientation with dip switch number one in the on position, dip switch number two in the off position, dip switch number three back in the on position, 
And then switch number four can, I think, go either way, but I keep it in the off position for now. Uh, this is important because it is not the way it comes from the factory, and if you install it with the wrong dip switch setting, it will not work. This is pretty much how my final install looks. With the USA spec uh, stowed away, the wires running uh, behind and across over to where the XM uh, satellite receiver is located. Now we replace that black felt hiding our uh, wiring. We now replace the hinges left and right that we took off earlier. Make sure it's nice and secure. Don't over tighten them. And then take the cover and the cover simply goes on top of the hinges and take the jack compartment that we took off earlier the jack lid and place it back into the slots and turn the knobs clockwise to uh, seal it in place as you replace the jack lid make sure that you're not crimping any of the cables or pressing up against the iPod uh, player and then you're pretty much done. Over at the nav radio you push on the audio button to display uh, the song list and you use this center knob you can push it to the right to select through your playlists. Right now we have a different song called uh, by Rob Thomas that we can play and we can select our different songs using the tuning knob here and this will cycle through the different songs 